Well, good morning. Today we're going to talk about streaming services that have numbers that over a million subscribers. And this is everybody. This is going to be fitness, gaming, meals, music, TV, movies, wireless for 2021. This is late in the year. So some of these numbers could be wrong. They could have magically changed, but that's okay. This is going to give you a huge idea for subscribers, viewers. How many millions of people are locked in these services? You could save a little money by not paying for some of them or you could get some free ones and what to look for in free services. Let's start with YouTube. My number one here, my little app, is YouTube. Why is it number one? It's simple. It has 2 billion watchers. Watchers. They don't have to sign up for YouTube Premium or anything like that. Watchers. People contribute constantly to YouTube. If you want to watch the latest news, the latest event, you just go on YouTube. You don't watch a news channel. You don't have to look at your live TV. In the Olympics, you know, Peacock was wondering why nobody watched. I'd get an update on my phone. So-and-so won the gold medal. You're like, oh, duh, it's over. If I wanted to see it, I'd see a five minute highlight on YouTube. I didn't watch, you know, all that stuff. And the world's changed, you know, sorry YouTube. Next on the list, AT&T Wireless. If you're an AT&T customer, there are 182 million subscribers. Pretty good. Spotify people, you're gonna love this. 356 million people love Spotify. They got free versions, so that's cool. They have 158 million that are subscribers though. Do the math, well, how much that costs. Netflix is next. There's our buddy. Come on, Netflix, there you are, yeah. That's our buddy. They have 208 million subscribers. They're the number one TV streaming service. Amazon Prime with Twitch and the Internet Movie Database. There's the Internet Movie Database. And Twitch is the gaming service they have. They have 175 million subscribers or users. SoundCloud, next in music, hard to believe. I don't know. I've used SoundCloud in forever. I've got a free version of it. 175 million free users. 1.7 million actually paid money. iHeartRadio, use that more. 120 million are free. They have ads and things. Verizon Wireless, so if you're a Verizon user, you've got 128 million friends that subscribe to Verizon. Disney Plus is at 116 million. There's our little Disney, we love Disney. It's really getting great. It's got more adult content, just great. T-Mobile users, 104 million. TuneIn Radio, 75 million free users. All right, Apple Music. It's hard to track down the Apple stuff because they don't like to give you much information, but supposedly 72 million music users and free users subscribe because they give that stuff away half the time. But people pay for it too. HBO Max and HBO has 67.5 million subscribers, supposedly. And Pandora, 58 million free users, 6.3 million pay for the service. Most people get Spotify. Okay. Amazon Music, 55 million users, subscribers. You get it free with a Prime subscription or you can pay. Oh no, a little, little device just went off. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that little device. The hell is funny. Yes, the wake word is AM on the little tablet I've got here. I like my little tablet. But where were we? We're on Amazon. Peacock, oh my gosh, Peacock, do you have anybody subscribing? They're not gonna tell you all that. Poor little Peacock, that's 54 million free users. A lot of them subscribe, but not a lot. You know what I mean? But it's a great service, it's the best free service you can get. Grab that, pick that up, you gotta have it. Sky Group is European, they got Sky News, you've heard of that, and they have a lot of channels and things. You know, other companies are after Sky. They're going to want to merge. Pluto TV, owned by Viacom CBS. There it is. Great free streaming service. Got to have it. Free. Hundreds of channels. Free. Free. It's, and it's owned by CBS. Hey, Nico. We're going to watch, we're going to watch Sky News. Yeah, we'll do that. 
Okay, Pluto TV's 50 million users. So it's free. Hulu, 41.6 million subscribers. Everybody loves Hulu. Viacom, CBS with BET Plus, Comedy Central, MTV, Nickelodeon, Noggin, Paramount Plus, Showtime, everything. Just everything they own. 42 million subscribers for all that stuff. And Nico's eye in the stand, the camera's on. So if it does a little shake, guess who did it? Yes, yes, we know you did it. Uh-huh. Sirius XM Radio, 34.9 million, 34 million. Apple TV claims 33.6 million. There's little Apple TV getting a lot of good stuff on Apple TV. They got Foundation right now. That's an excellent show. And Apple had the money to make it Foundation. No one else had the money to make Foundation. It's huge. YouTube Premium. So if you're paying for premium, commercial free, downloadable, blah, 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 blah. They claim 30 million subscribers that pay. That's cool. A YouTube Music, 30 million, because it's the same. You get music in TV, but you can get different. Fitbit users, 27.4 million. Cool. I had a Fitbit, and I broke it. So my wife still has one. Microsoft Xbox Game Pass, 23 million. Curiosity Stream. Yeah, we got Curiosity Stream down here. Where's the you know, Curiosity Stream? It's around somewhere. I bumped it down. Oh, well, I probably ran right by it, didn't I? That's okay. There's Crunchyroll. I love Crunchyroll. But we don't get it right now. Did we lose it? We lost Curiosity Stream. That's okay. It's like documentaries and nature and things like that. 20 million people pay for it. It's very cheap. I mean, you, 20 bucks, you can get like it for a year. It's nothing. You just have to get both people in the family watching it. You know, someone's got to watch it. My Fitness Pal users, 19.1 million. DoorDash, 18 million users. 5 million subscribed to get free delivery. I wonder if that's really free. You know, pay like, I think, $9.99 a month. And they just, you know, you get deliveries. I don't know if there are any other hidden charges in there. They probably are, but Discovery Plus. There's our little, where's our Discovery Plus? There's Discovery Plus, just launched in Canada. So they're gonna up their numbers soon. But for now, 18 million, really good. And if they merge with HBO for Warner Discovery, that'd be good. Paramount Plus, 17.9, which is our little, our little Paramount Plus. I mean, if you watch Star Trek, you know, that's the place to be. Stars, my wife loves Outlander on Stars. Where's the little Stars? There it is. That's the reason that Disney's European version of Hulu called Stars may float away and just become part of Disney Plus. There's talk of that. Although they loved having it on, you know, their version on Hulu, it's like, you know, Everyone's complaining there's someone in South America with a Stars brand. Originally, they had Hot Star in India. You see the problem? And now you know Disney wants to have a service like who and call it Stars, but see, NBC Comcast is like a small owner of this. So they, even though Disney controls it, Comcast is still there. But it also gives you some NBC channels now, along with the CBS. I mean, not CBS, not CBS. That's down here. Gives you FX and ABC channels. So you get ABC. CBS is over here, NBC, and FX. And there's your little CW, that's free with commercials. And, you know, you can't beat that. That's really good. But Outlander, yeah, is on Stars, but she won't pay for it. She just likes to see the reruns on Netflix, so. She'll be two seasons behind and somewhat happy with that. So, Stars has 16.7, Deezer Music 16, seven being actually subscribed, ESPN 13.8, so you got your sports people watching. Apple Arcade claims 12 million on their gaming service. AMC Networks, AMC Plus, Acorn, BBC, IFC Muse, I mean Films, Unlimited, Shutter, Sundance TV, Sundance Now, and All Black, 5.5 million subscribers. That's pretty good watching The Walking Dead, you know. Hello Fresh, Meal Kits, 5.3 million. Everyone's like, you know, I could cut back on these streaming services. And, not spend all this money with box kits you can get with beauty and pets and there are all these different little services you know you're like i don't subscribe to much and you're like oh 
I think subscribers too much. Yeah, and you could cut back tons of money. You don't need all these guys all year. It's nice that you do. You don't need them all for commercial free. You got the time to sit through some commercials. Just watch the commercials. See what you want and want, and go to the next one. You can have a few. That's how you budget. You want live TV? You do these little guys. Pluto. Roku has a new live version, although you can find the same thing on Roku channel, but they have that direct to the live channel. Peacock free, and you know, if you have an Amazon Prime membership, you get Amazon Prime free. If you don't, you probably get stuff from Target or Walmart, and they have free shipping. Y'all, you didn't know that, did you? Yeah, you sign up for that. And then they have your grocery stores deliver some free, or at the, you can just pick it up in the little area they have designated at the parking lot. Done that once, that was interesting. All right, HelloFresh meal kit, 5.3 million. Crunchy Roll, 5 million. That's all you anime fans. Weight Watchers, 4.9 million. Hulu Plus Live TV, that's all that live TV talk that I was just telling you about. It's expensive. It's really expensive. You're getting up to cable prices for these live TV channels. But you get the news, you get the sports, you get, you don't get everything. Nobody gives you everything because the more you pay, it would just be through the roof for the rights to stream some of this network stuff but 3.7 million on Hulu Live Plus TV. And you're like, 3.7? You're like, wait a minute. Netflix was 208 million, and Hulu Plus Live TV was 3.7, that's it? Yeah, that's all. I mean, get, get a cheap server, get an antenna, a good antenna, like Clearstream. Go to antennamanpa.com, go to antennapoint.com, see if your area supports a couple channels. Get a couple channels with a good antenna. You know, you can get a cheap one to start. You want to try out those little flat things, but you, you, know, you put something in the attic, you could get it high as possible, put it up there, and you get a lot of channels in certain areas, and there goes your live TV. It's, once you pay for that antenna, you, a decent amount would be a good idea if you can get it in your area. And you've got tons of channels, then you get a little cheaper place like Pluto, Peacock, Roku's Live. You got live channels, and eventually Bailey is going to have its own sports channel to go with, you know, ESPN. You'll have tons of sports. CNN is supposed to be launching a new news channel soon, and HBO will probably merge that in with their Discovery. You'll be able to get some of that. Title Music, 4.2 million. Sony PlayStation, 3.2 million. So Xbox has them by quite a lot for the streaming thing right now, but Sony's coming back. Everyone's getting bigger. Daily Burn Fitness, 2.5. Sling TV, one of the free services that's, you know, if you got an antenna, if you want something, you have to sit there, and oh, I gotta watch nothing on TV and watch commercials. Well, get Sling, it's cheap, okay? It's not that bad, just don't get all their services. They'll, they'll nickel and dime you to death. Uh, Lowcast was 2.3 million for that antenna beam down service where you didn't have to have an antenna and the government shut them down because they said you know you're you're not a non-profit you're making money so that, that thing's gone Just forget about lowcast youtube tv the other one that's really the best live streaming service it has two million subscribers because they're also expensive hulu tv live and they're both real expensive they both have almost the same channels a lot of them have local channels in your area. They have a few differences, but every time they add stuff, they, have, they punch the price up. So 65 bucks, if that's good for you, if you, you're paying $200 for cable and you can drop it all down to just paying for Wi-Fi, paying for some rental boxes or buying your own stuff, get you an antenna, get, you know, if you want YouTube TV, but if you can get it, you know, some of these places, all these guys like, who Paramount and Peacock both have a lot of sports stuff. Peacock has all the WWE wrestling, that's sports, kind of. So, I mean, you can find sports on some of these channels. They're all making wheeling and dealing to get stuff. Amazon's getting Thursday Night Football. They're all gonna be looking at sports and news, and that's what people want. And then they need a simple way to get local news. Right now, an antenna would be great if you could pull that off on each one station to watch some local news. I don't care if it's not your favorite station. Just get a decent antenna. You know, if you spend something for a piece of junk on Amazon, hope for the best. If you don't get much, you get one channel, there's your news channel. If it turns out to be PBS, 
Maybe you can get the kids to babysit with PBS. And then they'll tell them they have another channel. Okay, sling, but not bad. Uh, Peloton, the big bike riding thing, they have subscribers so they can watch fitness shows. 1.6 million. Shutter, the scary video streaming service. In October, I'm sure that's big. You just subscribe in October and they watch it for Halloween. Now we'll drop down to Low Million Fubu TV, which is a streaming service. Oh, let's see, Tubi. That's free music. We got Fubu. It's down here somewhere. There's five of that's cheap too instead of Sling. Okay. Oh, Stir's pretty good too for free. Where's my little? Oh well, it's around somewhere. I probably just went right by. Anyway. FUBU TV has live channels too, but it has a lot of sports, so it's kind of expensive, but a lot of people love the fact it's got a lot of sports. So, but it's only have 681,721 subscribers, okay? So, that's pretty much it. There's a little note about Netflix is number one in the world for streaming, but with Amazon following and Disney Plus following, but in China, there are two services that kick those two out of the way. The whole world has different streaming services, you know, that have never heard of us. That's why the stupidity of, or, or the brilliance of them not calling this Universal Plus, because it wasn't Universal. It wasn't everywhere. It was America, NBC, Peacock. That's it, you know, I mean, it's got shows from around, you know, they think you don't know a show from Europe, that's fine. But they're gonna concentrate on America with the word Peacock. If they sell out, which I think Peacock, NBC, and CBS Viacom might do, and Universal. You're looking at somebody grabbing on to the Universal name, and on Paramount, they're grabbing on to Star Trek. That's a lot of money to spend just for those guys. You still got tons of franchises in there, NCISs, and you know, Chicago this and Chicago that, on some of these services. So they have a lot of hits, you know, The Good Wife, The Good Fight, Paramount, Peacock's got lots of good little stuff. So that was fun. That was subscription services you're probably paying for and you don't realize they're adding up, but that's okay if you can afford it. But it gives you an idea of what's popular, what's big, you know, what should you look into? What's the cool thing to have and what's, and why? Netflix has tons of shows. They're not all great. Apple concentrates on great. They, they look to make high quality content. They're starting out like little Mickey over at Disney. People complained. Poor little Apple. They haven't got any back catalog. Well, everyone watches the new stuff. And Apple's like, you know, we think different. They're going to watch the new stuff. And in a couple of years, we're going to have a lot of new stuff. And they're going to go, wow, I love For All Mankind. I love The Morning Show. I love C. I love this. I love that. You know, they've got lots of good stuff. And people will slow, and they give it away free a lot of times. You buy a new product, you get this, or they give you three months free. You know, they're slowly changing, but they want to make some money. Look, there's some Roku channel, this old house. I used to watch that on PBS. I don't know who those people are. <laughs> but all right then. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you did. I'll have more content then for you. And ring the little bell to see what that does. But it's free subscription. It's free subscription. It just means you like my service. If you hit subscribe, it doesn't mean you pay money. On YouTube, it's just subscribe, no money. Okay. All righty. Well, that was fun. Goodbye.